Hi Leo, welcome to this reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more if Leo is your Moon or Rising sign. Um, Hold on, Seven of Wands reversed. Now, I might be misremembering, but I get the feeling that when I did the Twin Flame reading a couple of days ago, the Seven of Wands reversed was the first card out. Um, I think for the second section of the reading, for the uh, Divine Masculine, first card, Seven of Wands reversed, I think. Um, hmm, interesting. Okay. So my viewers, persons in a landscape, what's going on, please, in their inner world right now? Mm, Four of Wands reversed, the Magician reversed, Gemini there. We have the Queen of Wands reversed. Have the two of pentacles we have the eight of wands reversed what's going on in their inner world please and this could be with you know within their mind their private inner world it could be um their world behind closed doors if you only connect with them say at the moment on social media whatever they're not putting on social media we have the king of pentacles And the world okay so for some reason i feel drawn to call out the signs represented by the court cards today so with the queen of wands fire we have leo aries and sagittarius and then with the king of pentacles um, earth we have taurus virgo and capricorn um and then the major arcana of the world here um closing a cycle okay I think your person's frustrated. I think they've let down their guard with the Seven of Wands with themselves, um, which means they're now looking into their heart space, their emotions, trying to see how they feel about certain things, what they want for themselves based on um, what feels emotionally satisfying and rewarding versus what's feeding just my ego or um, what other people want for me. And it's presented them with some kind of a decision or some kind of opportunity um, but you know two of pentacles juggling something trying to decide something maybe feeling right now they've got a lot that they're trying to manage and it feels almost like it's not really a decision that needs to be made you know do I want this or that they know but it's like okay well well knowing I want it can I make it happen can I go for it what should I do to make it happen because we've got the four of wands reversed I want to break away from an existing foundation and we have the eight of wands reversed so although I want this I haven't yet gathered the moment momentum or been able to take the action I want to take with the magician reversed so I think your person knows it's like they they're kind of aware that they can do this they have all of the tools in their personal internal toolbox you know in, in terms of I've got the strength I've got the insight the wisdom all of that um but they're either saying it's not the right time or I haven't yet figured out how to go about using these tools in the appropriate way so for example if you're building something or taking something apart you need to use the right tools at the right time there's no good getting out a screwdriver <laughs> if you're trying to I don't know do something that requires pliers it's, it's not going to work you need to use the right tools at the right time in the right order so i feel your person here is trying to figure out what what is the right order exactly when is the right time um queen of wands reversed with the world this feels like i know i said the ending of a cycle and i do think there has been an ending of a cycle but to me it feels like a journey towards this queen of wands who's turned their back whether that is because this queen of wands person really has turned their back or there's just been time distance that's passed maybe this queen of wands um in the past was giving more than they're giving now so it just feels like there's a bit of a distance and what's on your person's mind is how do i travel towards this queen of wands and get them to focus on me again um I'm hearing a oh what's that song focus on me oh, I'm never gonna think of what it is I don't even really know it I want to say <sighs> let me make a note and um, I'll try and find it and I will um, put it in the description box or something like that because all I can hear in my head is focus on me and <laughs> that's very unhelpful um, wow wish me luck in finding it because i'd really like to find it for you but i'm not sure if i'll be able to anyway yeah you know focus on me give me your attention again um so whatever this 
option or choice is that has occurred now to your person, it's opening the door for reconnection because I know, you know, I am looking at this Queen of Wands really as being you and hopefully we will get some confirmation of that as we move more specifically into, um, you know, their feelings, their hopes, their fears around you and your connection. Um, okay, so let's see if we can get some more detail here, something more specific around what is, what they're considering changing. Look at that, Ace of Swords reversed. And when I get this Four of Wands in this particular deck, I'm always drawn to the blue in the middle. It feels like the throat shack with a voice, but it's it's in prison. It's um, being minimised, it's being reduced for the sake of whatever they're connected with, committed to, or doing, um, for the structure of the Four of Wands, for other people involved. So whatever this is, this opportunity will allow them to align with their truth. That's very clear to them. What else, please? Justice, yeah, balance, fairness, we've got Libra energy there. It feels right. Ace of Cups, yeah, it feels like a new beginning. And as I said, it's driven by emotions. Um, justice as well makes me feel that it would be bringing a sense of justice and balance to this Queen of Wands, who maybe in the past suffered because this person here did repress their voice and somehow it negatively impacted the Queen of Wands which again, I do think is you, whether you're woman, man watching this. Um, let's see, what do they want? King of Pentacles. So I know they want to get the attention back of the Queen of Wands to move towards this figure. What do they want here? Yeah, Ten of Swords reversed. Oh, we've got the Lovers reversed. Two Gemini cards, so definitely a focus on communication. I think in the past they tried to, to maintain some kind of balance, but it's almost like they were focusing on the wrong thing, or they, I don't know, in trying to be balanced and fair, somehow brought about injustice. Um, okay, Twin Flame Energy with the Lovers and the Four of Wands, in case that's relevant to anybody, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, this is about moving forward. This is It's almost like chasing, chasing this Queen of Wands um, and saying, I've made a decision. It was a big one. It was a difficult one. It took me some experiences, you know, um, maybe in the time that we've been apart to realise I was ready, that I am strong enough, I do have all the tools I need and I know how to use them. Um, to be able to make this decision but it's done now if this is someone you're watching for and there's been some kind of an ending but it doesn't feel like closure or it feels that the ending took you both by surprise and you'd both like to have a discussion about it or maybe so much time has passed that you're now starting to think is that the end but there was never really any clear final um, ending this person here doesn't feel like there's been closure and it's almost like they hold on to the last time they saw you or spoke with you and they've carried that memory through even if it's been years, you know, they still remember it, they still think about it, and it's been keeping this emotional jaw door open. And at least their jaw open, so I guess, yeah, they do want to speak. Um, okay. There's some hearing a lock jaw. I don't know, I just feel like in the past, this person here, they did not speak, they did not speak their truth. Maybe they didn't even know their truth within themselves. Um... okay they may have thought okay I'm making a sensible decision I'm making a logical decision in the you know they may have thought that in the past but actually they were making a decision that seemed more in line what everyone more in line with what everyone else does just more familiar it seemed more practical or something like that but it wasn't true justice this could also be talking about karma so I don't know if they've been through um something in a karmic sense that's really opened their eyes or they're now looking at sort of the laws of balance and fairness in terms of like emotions and their sort of own inner moral guidance system versus I don't know the law that's made by governments and whatever and that's sort of very practical law they're really um they're understanding sort of I don't know the nuances of How do I explain this? Like we know in terms of the law, in most places, if you steal something from someone, that's not good, you could get punished, maybe go to prison, I don't know, that sort of thing. And they understood that, but then there's another kind of law where it's almost like, if I go around 
let's say I meet someone and I'm bored. So I'm just passing the time. I know this person's developing feelings for me. I know it's probably not nice of me because I have no interest of, of seeing this develop into anything, but I'm bored, so why not, you know? There is a kind of unspoken law or of balance of karma around that, that what I'm doing is not nice and maybe I should listen to some sort of moral guidance system that says, don't mess about with people's feelings like this. I'm sure you guys know what I'm trying <laughs> what I'm trying to say, but I kind of felt I needed to, to ground it a bit more. So anyway, there's a more like subtle, unspoken law that they're now adhering to, that they're not, it's not something that, that if they don't listen to it, they're gonna get um, put into prison or something, but I don't know, maybe, as I say, karma's been playing a role and they've been feeling the effects in that way, or they just realize it's just not nice. Um, let me get some messages. I wasn't going to pull messages, but um, I think there's one in this deck that says about karma, but so it made me think of it, so now I've thought of it. Let's just see what they've got to say here. So these will be messages specifically to you. Um, overwhelmed the stress from this is draining me and I do think they're stressed because they keep reliving whatever the the last painful interaction was that they had with you and if you've had interactions since then I just get the feeling that whatever this is wasn't really spoken about or resolved and it's still weighing on them for many of you though with the world and the way this Queen of Wands is reversed doing their own thing I feel that this might be the last time you saw them unexpected outcome things didn't go the way I planned and gossip I'm afraid of what other people will think yeah which is what led to them being quiet um, and perhaps you pulling back in some way responsibilities I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs conversation I want to call you and hear your voice third party there were other things that got in the way of us being together and we have hope I haven't given up on us yet unsatisfied is on the back um, I wasn't happy the way things are going. What's this? Holding back. I should have expressed myself better. Okay. Wow. So I think we get a good sense from that of what the obstacles were. I mean, literally some sort of third party person situation. Um, they haven't given up on you and, you know, the connection. And they do feel there is a need to have a discussion, which we've been seeing. Um, I do think they still have some responsibilities they're trying to figure out. You know, with this magician energy, as I said, it's, it's them trying to be tactful or balanced in their approach um okay so that's what's going on in their inner world that they're not sharing um whatever this is that they're trying to this this transition they're trying to bring about it will have a very real impact on their 3d environment you know the love is reversed it's when we've made a big life-changing decision um and it's it's moving them forward along the right path and I say the right path for them because we're going from that stressful five of swords energy into the peace the calm of the six of swords so they are traveling in the right direction here um but yeah the world it will bring about an ending to something in a big big way it they feel very calm though they don't feel stressed or concerned just um understanding they do still have things they need to plan more around or understand better or figure out but not feeling overwhelmed not feeling like it's impossible Okay, so let's have a look at their hopes. Um, I'm gonna leave these out. If it gets too messy, I'll start clearing some cards away. Okay, can you show us please? So the person that my viewer is here for, the person we are inquiring about, what are their hopes please in relation to my viewer and this connection? There's something about someone's jaw or somebody's ear, and I know they can they can be connected. Um, like say if you're having I don't know if you if you when you sleep you clench your teeth really tightly you might get pain shooting up to your ear or something I don't know someone's jaw someone's ear okay the full reversed Aries Aquarius there I should also say um the major arcana we have for what's going on with your person's inner world it's really interesting you've got the world the magician and justice um really bringing about a new beginning that's initiated by them, standing in their own personal power, that's bringing in this sense of balance and fairness. It, it feels very, um, 
there's a lot of intention here focus this person right now is very focused on on making one particular change there's not this seven of cups scattered should i do this that maybe i should do that instead it's, it's very much i know what i want i'm completely focused on just that how do i make it happen we have the ace of cups again okay so their hopes please we have the four of pentacles reversed and death in reverse scorpio there okay the hopes feel like a new beginning with you opening up to you again death reversed it's they may even want to talk specifically about whatever they feel was left unresolved before um starting completely fresh because otherwise it might be like the elephant in the room as far as they're concerned eight of wands see upright see what i mean they're working themselves up to get to this point um, that they hope to be at where they can actually initiate this change um, Age of Pentacles I'm hearing something about December I'm hearing something about June so it could be those um, relevant times and months or it could just be talking about a six month um, time frame that's either you know that's relevant to you in some way okay King of Cups reverse yeah wow Okay, so this is someone who, who struggles to talk about their feelings and they are fully acknowledging this. So maybe they've expressed this to you in the past or maybe not for some of you. And you're wondering, do they know they really suck at talking about their feelings? Even just in the most basic sense of like, what do you want to do today? Or what do you, you know, how are you feeling as we're having this conversation? Or whatever. It doesn't have to be in a huge, huge way. Whether it's big or small, I think this is someone who really struggles to express themselves whether it's they feel silly doing it they get scared of doing it they literally don't know the language um to express how they're feeling and they maybe get frustrated but this is one of their hopes that they will be able to open up more and show more of how they're feeling um and also their fears because the king of cups is reversed and that to me is someone who is not necessarily always the most stable in their feelings maybe they let their feelings overwhelm them sometimes sometimes they could fall into self-pity sometimes they could be emotionally manipulative or controlling perhaps they've been that way with you and there's a real desire to kind of say look i know i know um these are the things i've done in the past i'm not perfect i know that i struggle with my emotions i struggle to express them Six of Pentacles reversed. Um, I'm looking at this Ace of Pentacles and it looks to me like two people both sort of reaching out for it, offering it, protecting it. Um, and with this Six of Pentacles reversed, and um, again, you know, underneath we've got the Queen of Wands reversed, which I feel is your energy turning away from them to some degree. They hope, and it, it feels more of a wish, um, because they might feel it's slightly unrealistic, even if it isn't that you will reciprocate that you you know if they're open about their feelings you will be open about yours if their feelings are loving yours still are and the still is important because i get the feeling that they they understand that in the past you were very openly loving and they were not and maybe you've taken that elsewhere you know they don't know they're not sure um but they want this to be you know a reciprocated thing between you and it is a hope um, I would say it's almost crossing into a bit of a fear as well because they're not sure how realistic this hope is um, but yet it's a hope that they hold on to so why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed with the Ace of Cups why would they hope to not put work in to this emotional opportunity for some of you if you work together what they could hope is to connect with you emotionally outside of work um, so to develop a close relationship um, yeah, away from the workspace or if it's not work it could be somewhere you both go a lot maybe you have a hobby you do a sport or something or whatever it is some activity and they want to you know maybe you get on very well within that space or you have done in the past and they want that connection to be recipro reciprocated no that's not the word um what's the word when you redo something oh my god that's so annoying um replicated 
outside of whatever this particular event, situation, location is. But let's see, if it's not those things, why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed? Yeah, look, King of Pentacles reversed. So for some of you, yeah, this is someone saying, I want us to have this connection outside of the, the space we're usually in. Um, there could be a bit of a fear that, you know, you know, if you know someone at work and you get on well at work and then everyone goes for drinks after work and you, you end up talking about work because you actually have nothing really in common with these people. It's like your person doesn't want that to be the case. Um, and they would like the chance to find out if you've not spent much time together, perhaps just socially or in a relaxed setting. Um, okay, what else? Page of Swords. I'm hearing something about mind games. I don't know why that's coming up looking at these cards, but I am hearing about mind games. Um, so maybe in the past, this is someone who put a lot of effort with the Eight of Pentacles into scheming, planning, playing mind games when it was really much more simple. It was, it was just this pure Ace of Cups, open-hearted, emotional connection. And they could have done that because with the Page of Swords, they were immature, they were learning about what it means to interact with someone who is being genuine and honest with them. Um, and even if this is someone who is at an age where you would expect them to behave better or, you know, whatever you consider to be better or, um, this is someone who's made quite serious commitments with people in a romantic sense. It's not necessarily a guarantee that they've learned through those situations or that they have a particular level of confidence or understanding, you know? Um, they might actually still be internally a page, even if they seem like a king on the outside. Yeah, something about mind games. I think this person in the past invented, invented, yeah, they did a lot of inventing, inventing, you know, potential threats that meant they had to play mind games that weren't really there, but lots of investing in, if I do this, you'll react that way. And it could even be as simple as, I know that you like cakes and we're friends on social media. So if I post a picture of a cake, I know that will get your attention and you'll interact with me. It could be as, as silly as that, but really what they wanted to do and what they really probably would have been better off doing is just saying hello to you directly because they wanted to talk to you. They didn't need to manipulate a way for you to interact with them. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Yeah, I think there was a bit of immaturity in the past, a bit of, um, I would say a bit of game playing, but the Eight of Pentacles is serious investment, being very diligent. Um, yeah, so some sort of scheming that I'm not seeing it came from a very negative space or intention, but it may have had very negative consequences on you and on this relationship. Um, so I think they want to get away from that and just sit more in the feelings and go with the flow of the feelings. But then as you know, we see the very next card is the King of Cups reverse. So they do struggle with this, but they have hopes that they can get better at it. So let's see, Four of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, Three of Swords. I think they want to express some, some hurts they've been through in the past, why they relate the way they do to emotions, theirs and perhaps yours as well. I'm hearing overwhelmed. This could have been someone who became overwhelmed easily in the past if you expressed the slightest emotion in any kind of way. Ace of Wands reversed. Yeah, it's almost like this time they hope to stay away from the passionate side of things um, because they know that's easy for them. It's almost like... Um, like a safety net um so if they're feeling this burst of love towards you they'll run and hide behind a burst of passion instead and maybe try and make it sexual even or something like that um so there wasn't that balance ten of wands reversed yeah so they've been they've been through some some things um probably before and outside of, of you meeting one another that have carried over and affected how they've shown up with you and they want to be honest enough to express this to you. Um, also with the Queen of Wands, the way that they see you is as someone who is incredibly attractive and paired with this energy of, they feel very comfortable as this Knight of Wands with the Ace of Wands, but not in the cups, emotions. You may have got the impression that um, it was just a physical thing, that it was superficial for them, whereas it was deeper for you. And this is, you know, their hopes here are to let you know that's not true. 
Okay, so um, let's have a look at their fears. I need another deck. I think perhaps maybe how to end this is to have a look at... Um, Actually, let's just see when we get there. Okay, so this person's fears, please. I can't stop looking at the King of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. I mean, they could be watching you. I'm, I'm noticing the hat. We've got what I assume is a beard but we're not seeing the face. Um, so watching you in secret somehow, whether you know or not. Um, so that's the message, yes. But what else? Why just, this feels so important, but important to your person. It's like they know they really didn't show up in the way that they were projecting. Once you got to know them, you may have been disappointed in them. King of Pentacles, reverse page of swords. This can also be, of course, them turning away from whatever that King of Pentacles, Four of Wands situation is and going off on this journey of exploration. The Page of Swords is always eager to learn, to grow, to understand. Hmm. Okay. So can you please show us this person's fears and this connection with my viewer? What are their fears? Two of Cups, Strength Reversed. Okay, I do think they fear becoming so entwined with you that you become one and they lose themselves. Um, which actually, you know, is quite a common fear people have. And it's, it's in a way, it's good to be, not to fear it, but to be aware of that because, um, you know, you don't want to slip into any sort of codependency and it's it's great to come together, but also still to have individual interests and that sort of thing. Um, interesting how it's coming out first, though, and it's not just something they're aware of, it's an, it's an actual fear. So I wonder if in the past they've been in situations and connections where they have been... Um, that's interesting. I'm hearing two things, impressed and oppressed so in, they may have, have met people in the past or maybe it's one specific person who at first they were impressed by this person because they seem so confident and you know comfortable themselves blah 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 then once your person got close to them the person they were initially impressed by oppressed your person because it was a facade they weren't actually truly confident within themselves they were actually controlling and that's now why your person has this fear of being consumed by another and oppressed by them because the two of cups is a lovely energy of coming together working as a partnership but um there's something about how these these women are exactly the same the the two flowers are wound around each other um with this strength card reversed it's it's almost like they don't want to be consumed and imprisoned by any anyone ever again or any kind of connection and remember this isn't necessarily logic or something they're thinking will happen based on anything they've seen or heard or witnessed from you or, or about you it's a fear so so it's fear driven it could be completely illogical that this would never happen with you or this connection but it's you know it's still a fear that they're carrying from something and even if it didn't happen to them in the past they could have seen it happen to other people around them Okay, Page of Wands. So even this Page of Wands, we think of the page as being excited to go on this um, adventure and often inexperienced and unprepared, really. Um, but this Page of Wands has a magnifying glass. It's like, let me see all of the facts. Let me see what's, what's coming up ahead before I decide whether to move forward with this. I'm wondering if that's something to do with that Page of Swords. Six of Swords reversed. I think they, they have a fear that they will start to move forward, panic, and run away again. Again, it's not to say that they will, but it's a fear they have. Seven of Wands reversed is back again. 
If you didn't watch the Twin Flame reading, you might want to, just in case there are any additional messages there for you, especially the Divine Masculine part um, of the reading, which is the second part. Okay, let's see. We have the Page of Swords again. We have the four, yeah, look now, four of, why did I say that? Look now. <laughs> the four of pentacles in the upright underneath in this um row we have it reversed uh in this column here okay and then we have the sun reversed leo energy so we have a dandelion um and the seeds are blowing off and they will go somewhere and they will land in the ground presumably and become new plants um well, we have dandelion seeds that will turn into a dandelion. So there's something here about, I mean, this guy, he's got his hat on. He looks like he's just completed some kind of course. He's learned something. He's standing on all of these books. It's time for this plant to transform into the next stage. There's something here about your person having acquired all the knowledge they need internally and externally about themselves, about you, about life, some sort of um, new perspective they have on things. You know, maybe it's, it's that law I was talking about that we had, you know, it's not just the law that you know that rules the society and whatever that we're in it's our own personal inner law that's important as well that we hold ourselves accountable to um so so they've, they've got all of that understanding it's time now to step away from the books away from the learning and to go out there and put this into practice and they're afraid i think that when they start to do this they will freeze up close up and run away again and by doing so they will not only hurt you but they will look i mean the sun immense transformation happiness abundance incredible incredible joy that they're going to be walking away from that they're going to be running from that so obviously they don't want to but they're worried that they might um but okay so self-sabotage essentially is what i'm seeing here that's what they're worried about um, and the scary thing here for them is that they're not going to know until they, they start, until they try. The only way they find out if, if they can be courageous enough and maintain that courage is by setting off on this journey and seeing. Anything else for the Two of Cups and Strength, please? Three of Swords, yeah, something's happened in the past, or they've witnessed something. Um, but I do think they want to tell you about this because when I clarified down here, we had that Three of Swords. Um, okay, let's have a look at the Sun. There's also a fear that they will take the action they need to take and come towards you and you will say to them actually it's too late and now you will be closed off with them the chariot cancer energy there yeah okay so maybe they feel that you've got everything together you're happy you're doing your own thing you've got goals you're achieving and you might not want to slow your momentum down for them yeah the empress reverse i'm focusing now on me i'm keeping all of this amazing divine feminine energy for me whether that's um you know whether you resonate as a, typically a divine feminine or divine masculine it's just this energy of abundance um channeling this into yourself yeah the tower reverse scorpio again it's almost like they fear that, that you'll see them coming and you're jumping your current speed away because you're thinking absolutely not <laughs> you know i see you coming and i know what you bring you bring in very destabilizing feelings, emotions, um, events. You, you're going to blow up everything I've been creating for myself. So I'm, I'm not sticking around. Um, again, that could be completely not true in terms of how you feel, but that is a fear that they have. Okay, so yeah, let's have a look then. Um, is there anything that you might be able to see? or perhaps even pick up on energetically from your person over the next couple of weeks or so. Um, yeah, anything to look out for, anything you might pick up or sense from them. Um, and I just think it's nice to not leave the reading looking at their fears, to be honest, and, and what's scaring them, because hopefully they will overcome their fears. 
Okay, let me clear this away as it's going a bit much here. So let's see, is there anything please that my viewer might notice or feel or see from their person over the next couple of weeks from wherever, whenever, whatever time they're watching this? Okay, let's see. So, Eight of Wands, oh my goodness, the star for Aquarius there, Ten of Wands reversed. Eight of Swords reverse and the Ace of Wands. Okay, some of you could just flat out have communication and it could be very healing communication. You could even have been wishing for something around a particular kind of movement and you might even see that. Two of Cups reversed, Ten of Cups reversed, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands reversed. I think um, for some of you there's going to be communication, maybe even communication about some sort of um, change that your person's making that's it's a healthy change for them. Um, with the nine of coins here, they're feeling good about themselves, it's empowering, um, you might be happy for them as well with this. But um, it might stop at communication for now. There's some sort of action that's going to happen that can't happen just yet with a page of wands reversed. So it might be like a, oh, I'm about to make this change or I'm about to do this or that. Um, or, oh, in June, I'm I'm going to be traveling to where you are. Do you want to meet? But, you know, the page of wands is reversed because it's not happening today or tomorrow. Um, okay, what else, please? Some of you I'm hearing could dream. You could have a really nice dream about this person that feels like more than just a dream because when you wake up, it feels like it was super real. You feel like, oh, that was really healing. I got some sort of answers or some, you know, something I needed that I didn't get in the 3D. I, I feel like I actually have it now because that dream was so real. Yeah, judgment, some kind of new um, beginning, a new cycle beginning, more Scorpio energy there. I think that's the third time at least that we've had that. I wonder if Scorpio season has been or will be relevant. Um, six of Wands reverse. Yeah, something getting past the conscious mind, past the ego. I do feel, as I said, for some of you, there's going to be some kind of really powerful, significant dream. And it's coming through as a dream because that's when the ego is most quiet. You know, the conscious mind, um, it can sort of sneak through and it's going to feel just really amazing. Like a, you wake up feeling like you're breathing fresh air and then there's this feeling of release here. Maybe it might even be that something's always, or something has, you've le been left with something that has confused you about this person or something they did or said or didn't do or didn't say or something that's just been like pulling at you and it's never really made sense or something like that and you wake up feeling that you have the answer to this or some kind of epiphany or insight. The lovers, Gemini, and we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, it feels like something's opening up, but within the next couple of weeks, it's not the time for, you know, for you to be jumping into whatever's opening up with this person. It's the opening, and that's as much as we get within the next couple of weeks. Um, so like I said, it could be communication about, oh, let's meet, but the meeting doesn't happen yet, or you speak, but then there's, um, you know, you stop speaking again for a bit. Um, I do think there's something happening energetically, emotionally, some kind of renewal here, some sort of connection, them visiting you, bringing you some information in the astral planes. Also, in terms of timing, I can't get away from um, June sort of time and um, sort of November into December kind of time as well. I know that's not two weeks from when I'm recording this, but just I don't know if things did happen during those times that were significant or might happen. Um, OK, so that's what I would say for some of you. Like I said, there's going to be 3D communication specifically in the way you've been wishing for or the kind of communication you've wished for. Um, for others of you, I think there's going to be a significant dream that really does still bring in some kind of incredible communication. And you might wake up and you might just think, how is it that I'm feeling so 
like I feel so clear about something or I feel so calm or renewed or whatever it is how am I feeling this much from what was a dream or what was experienced through a dream it feels as good as if this person came to you face to face and delivered this message um while you were awake because I think it happened you know in the astral planes um anyway so I will leave this here. I hope this helped, hope it resonated, hope it had messages for you. As I said, if you would like a similar reading that's delving just really into you, what's going on maybe more that you're not sort of consciously realising yet, um, guidance and advice for you, then let me know. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much for being here. Hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye.